Hello, uh, Traxel community. This is uh, Thomas Hammon. Uh, you haven't heard from me in a while. Uh, while uh, you haven't heard from me, we've been uh, working hard on Traxel to find uh, ways uh, to help uh, people with chronic diseases, especially multiple sclerosis, and monitoring what's going on on uh, the socials in our platform. Uh, one of the subject matters that always comes up uh, is uh, sleep and uh, sleep disturbance, um, especially for people with uh, multiple sclerosis. That is a huge burden and often not talked about. Uh, so I wanted to just take a second uh, to go over this and uh, the way we understand this. Uh, one, uh, sleep is one of the things that we find is natural to be tracked. So especially as you have a chronic condition that comes and goes, worsens, improves, and is undergoing certain uh, interventions such as medical treatments, it would be really important to know how those things affect your sleep, how maybe medications affect your sleep, how certain activities affect your sleep. Because fundamentally, sleep is really, really important. You guys all know how it feels after a restful night of sleep, how much more energy you have, how much better your brain works. So for the brain and the brain's function, a good night uh, sleep is really, really, really tremendous good therapy. Now it eludes many of us. Uh, many of uh, you guys have reported this, so what can you do? So one, understand better what the problem is, how many, nights, how many hours a night you sleep, when you sleep, um, and then track also activities. Uh, sometimes, for example, a certain activity during the day really makes the sleep difficult. Um, you guys all know that uh, maybe drinking uh, stimulants like coffee later in the day could affect your good night's sleep. But other things as well, especially uh, certain uh, uh, regimens in medication intake. So when you track uh, your sleep in relationship to your activities, reporting this back to your healthcare providers could be tremendously helpful for them to better understand to help you better. So with multiple sclerosis, uh, it is not as simple to say, okay, uh, this is the condition and it causes insomnia. Because it could be that the sleep disruption is caused by pain. So understanding how the pain relates to your sleep or restlessness in your legs that a lot of people experience with multiple sclerosis could make a night's sleep uh, difficult. Excessive daytime sleeping, napping or fatigue then can exhaust the abilities to sleep at night and that could make it very difficult to have a good restful sleep. Breathing issues, uh, issues of uh, immobility. Uh, it is very uh, commonly known that when you are not able to move much during the day, it's difficult to get your body to relax and sleep at night. So if you have mobility issues, seeing how certain interventions maybe increases in uh, mobility as much as possible or other interventions relate to your sleep and then maybe target those with your healthcare provider to to get your sleep better. Ultimately also there are side effects to some of the medications. Um, if you go through your list of uh, medications, some uh, are affecting your sleep uh, or background noise. Uh, I don't know if you heard, uh, our offices unfortunately is very close to a flight path. So maybe finding ways uh, correlating the outside noise or the location of where you sleep in your house to where you find a better night's sleep can be very helpful. Now there's very little you can do to the flight path, but maybe changing the layout of your house could help you find a spot with le less noise exposure. Yeah, so uh, again, we are here, uh, we're working on finding solutions to make people's lives better with chronic uh, medical ailments such as multiple sclerosis. And we'll hear back from us soon. Uh, please post uh, things that you're interested in. Uh, Whatever you mention, uh, we'll go through it uh, and we'll find topics to chat about. If you have specific questions, uh, we are reaching out to experts in multiple sclerosis. We hopefully invite them onto the platform here to discuss things and uh, get you good information to uh, make your lives better. Have a good day.